because their goal is to carry as many containers as possible, though there is some risk in this. This ship is one of the largest ships in the world, named Mary. It can carry 24 columns continuously. Every pen can also hold 23 continuous. Again, one pen on this long one, one by one, can be kept continuously until 21 o'clock. Its capacity is more than you think. Now, let's infiltrate the bottom of the ship. A view of the interior of the ship, 100 feet below sea level. You can see it. If the ship's crew needs to go down, many steep stairs have to be crossed. The shape of these vessels is so huge that you'll feel like you've moved to another world. Many members find it sometimes quite intimidating due to its size, and this fear means they never want to be alone in a secluded part of the ship. This ship has a passenger box, which is actually one type of meter rim that covers the entire ship. With the help of this, it maintains the ship's structure and balance properly so that it does not break in any way. The size of these rings is so huge that a whole rope is made of it. Therefore, the ship's personnel can move from place to place through these corridors. The funniest thing is, although the shape of these container ships is huge, there are not too many crews to handle them. No membership required. In most cases, in a group of 25 crew members, this ship can handle well. Most of these crew members spend their time on all bridges of the ship and in no time they are either on board or go to other places. These bridges of ships are very small bridges, except these places the rest of the ship is reserved entirely for containers. Each crew member of the cargo ship works in four-hour shifts, and these shifts can be any time of the day because someone has to be on the lookout at all times on the ship. They ease maintenance of various machinery of the ship, navigate the ship safely through the ocean, cook and clean bridges. Cleaning is the most important function on deck. However, a lot of hard work has to be done on the container ship. The crew on the ship has a very tight schedule every day to be maintained. Moreover, once the journey begins, about three to six months are spent continuously at sea. It's not possible for them during this period to return to their families and sometimes they can't even keep in touch. Even if the ship stops in a city, they don't even have time to roam around there because container ships only need to be loaded and unloaded within 24 to 48 hours. Time to enjoy the city in such a short time is not possible, but yes, most cargo workers get a salary of lakhs of rupees and they get up to six months of the year to spend holidays with family. In the containers of these cargo ships, thousands of goods worth crores of rupees are transported. If for any reason these cargo ships meet with any accident, then all those crores in the cargo ship, millions of rupees worth of money, disappear into the ocean. In addition to these, the fear of seafarers remains, so they are always prepared to defend themselves. Hydrologists, using small speedboats, attack these cargo ships. Sometimes they attack all pro ships, taking hostages including members and captains. For example, recently a case in Bangladesh where mariners were attacked. If it doesn't go in that direction, whatever. That's why most containers escape the hands of water inspectors. Ships make different types of self-defense arrangements. The most effective method is the water hose system. High-speed water is released through these hoses, creating a protective system around the ship. Spectators cannot board the ship due to the high speed of the water. But recently, Japan has developed a more sophisticated system called antibiotic taint, which is actually a combination of several sensors. They continuously move around the side of the ship and water comes out of it at high speed. For hydrologists, it's not possible at all to climb the ship due to the speed of the water. However, if many mobs attack together, uh, it is quite difficult to prevent it because the number of crew is very less on these working ships. But some larger ships may have a slightly higher number of crew. Also, keeping cargo ship containers safe is a big challenge. And so are the ship's prows. All containers are secured through a type of locking system, if not different shackles or thick ropes are used to fasten the containers in place so that in any disaster situation at sea, they do not fall into the sea. No more through all this. When a cargo ship arrives at a port, only then, within 24 to 48 hours, the cargo ship is completely empty. And then, without any pause, the cargo ship begins to be filled again, so its journey never stops. <laughs>